What is good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Getting into another reaction. Last one for the day. One Piece new episode 1099. Almost at a new milestone. Another 100 mark. We're almost at 1100. We're almost at 11 fucking 100. 1100 episodes, bro. It's crazy. I've already been hearing some rumors that this 1100, you know what I'm saying, next week's episode is going to be fucking ridiculous. It's probably going to be some insane gas because of just the, like the number itself, like that milestone, like every time you reach 100 or some shit like that, some wild shit go down unless it's just in terms of the lineup of the story. Like, I mean, shit, 100 episodes ago was the big milestone, the big, big one, episode 1000. Episode 1000 obviously went crazy, but then only fucking like uh 10 to 15 ish episodes later we get some amazing gas like episode 10 12 10 13 10 14 all the way leading up to 10 15 absolutely monumental episode that's where i started my reaction journey with one piece obviously i've been watching the show ever since for a long time that's just where i started reacting on the channel to one piece because i've already been you know watching it week by week for some time now but goddamn monumental fucking episode for one piece god damn fucking excuse me fucking nose and allergies started killing me all of a sudden 10 15 what a monumental episode that was you know shit over a year now probably something like that i mean that's where I started my reaction joining with One Piece. I think that's still the most viewed One Piece reaction on the channel currently, which is just fucking awesome that the first episode I ever did reached those fucking highs on the channel. Um, nothing crazy, obviously, but like high for me. You know what I'm saying? It's the it's the top viewed One Piece reaction on my channel, which is only I think like it might be like it might be right around 10K or it's like a little under 10K, something like that. Nothing wild, right? But uh, still pretty dope for my channel. And that being the first reaction that I uploaded for One Piece, fucking amazing. So you can expect that next week, 1100 is going to do the same sort of milestone fucking thing where it's just going to go crazy. I mean, I've been hearing the rumors that they've been getting all the fucking stacked animators that do just amazing shit. I can't remember all their names right now, but all the ones that have worked on legendary episodes like 1015, 1093, even a couple uh, weeks ago. You know, the episodes that have been fucking monumental in the past year and a half, two years, they're pulling all those animators out for 1100, baby. So I can't wait for that. And it uh, looks like with this episode, we're going to get right back where we left off pretty much. And, you know, we've been getting some info from Vegapunk and learning about, you know, this kingdom from 900 years ago, learning about Ohara and how he visited and met Dragon there and, you know, how it was low-key a victory for Ohara because they saved all the books even though they died. Elbof took the books. That was Saul that told him to take the books. He also has all the information up here. I mean, some crazy amazing stuff, right? Awesome, awesome info and background information um, throughout these past couple episodes. But then, right at the end of last episode, we finally see an explosion go off somewhere near where Luffy and Vegapunk are, and that's probably... These motherfuckers from CP0 attacking this place because obviously they, you know, just denied them entry. But their whole go their whole real goal of coming here is like it's an order from the five elders or whoever ordered them to come here. And they're finally trying to dispose of Vegapunk, which Vegapunk himself mentioned last episode and was like, hey, take me with you. You know what I'm saying? And then that's like right where the episode cliffhangs us is him saying like, yeah, they're going to, they're it's my turn. They're going to treat me just like Ohara. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they can't let him live. Um even though they use them for so long once they don't have any use for them anymore it's not like you can just go out on your way and enjoy your life independently no it don't work like that with the world government bro they shady as fuck they don't want no information no sort of liabilities whatsoever we know that we know that they ain't about liabilities bro they're, they're willing to go to any lengths to keep this shit under the fucking bus so Amazing stuff. Can't wait to get into this episode. Let's get into it and uh, see how they set us up for 1100 and see if we get this fucking fatal reunion between Luffy's crew and these motherfuckers that they fought a long time ago that are just probably walking into an L. Let's be fucking honest, dude. They're not <laughs> like they're just asking for another fucking ass whooping, bro. I don't give a fuck. So let's get into the episode. Let's get into the reaction. If y'all enjoy it, please like down below. Comment, subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell so the next one's dropping. Let's get into it. One Piece 1099. There's the title. Rob Lucci has arrived, motherfucker. Oh, that's the Seraphim. That's what they meant by S-Bear. That's right. It's fucking... 
a seraphim version of fucking kuma dude that's right because it's all it's all the like previous generation of fucking war, war, warlords the shichibukai kuma was one of them fuck dude so, I, I'm assuming that orange part of his nose is part of his mask, because I don't remember his nose being fucking orange and looking like a carrot, bruh. Kaku or whatever his name is. Oh, that's right, because it has Kuma's power. Just sent him all to the island real fucking quick. Everybody on the ship. Oh, here we fucking go. Only on the orders of the celestial dragons. They're superior to CP9. Hey, they ranked up though. It's the same motherfuckers that you remember, bruh. He's freaking out to the island itself, too. <laughs> yeah, they didn't give a fuck. They just invaded that shit. <laughs> Bad memories are coming back. For real. Go away, bro. Yeah, Sanji's ready for the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna protect Romeo at all costs. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, well, they sank the ship just like Rob Lucci said they were going to. Get the fuck out of the way. Smoke is about to be delivered. Get the fuck out of here, bruh. <laughs> Oh, Sentamaru's here. <laughs> Shit's heating up, baby. One, three, and four. I can't remember what number uh, Jinbei was because Jinbei is one of them. Oh, Mihawk. Oh, okay, they're here. Fuck. They were returned quickly after that fucking attack on Boa's island. Boa. So four is Jinbei. And then I'm assuming two is Kuma since that one, they didn't open the door for that one because he's already out and released. <laughs> Just so casually, like, take me with you, bro. The fucking infamous scientist. <laughs> That's why? Yeah, okay. She still knocked the fuck out from using that fucking saber. <laughs> They're always so souped to see the new technology and shit on this island. The fuck did he just do? We're gonna find out it's just a hologram. A creature beyond our imagination. You don't even understand it fully yourself. You're gonna find out once you hit that thing, you're gonna go right through that shit. A space monster. Yeah, that's what he is. Yeah, good job. You got it. You're so smart. You're so smart, dude. Right through it. <laughs> this place is nostalgic, huh? Oh, he's about to get fucked up. 
Oh, 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 you are not allowed to enter, buddy. <laughs> Yo, he's already getting packed up. Oh, Kaku. <laughs> I mean, you found out. <laughs> Yourself. But didn't Vegapunk want her to go back, uh, or Shaka wanted her to go back to the, uh, above the island? To Punk Records? Oh, hey, here we fucking go. Luchi gonna get active, bruh. This fucking asshole, dude. Why couldn't you just stay out? One ass beating wasn't enough, bro? Damn. You gonna pay for it. <laughs> You gonna pray? No? Okay, what are we doing? Oh, that's how he's taking his jacket off. Look at those scars! You know who gave him those scars, bitch? Oh shit, here we go. Ah, oh, fuck. Atlas, you should have listened, bruh. Damn, bro. Oh my goodness. This leopard motherfucker, dude. Just had to ruin the vibes and crash in on this fucking place, huh? Because they asshole. Yeah, they're on the government side. That's why. Okay, so she's still alive, but she's fucked up right now. <laughs> Luffy's just excited for this rocket still. <laughs> yeah, they, he didn't give any info. He's just, just take the vacuum rocket, like I know what that is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Familiar face. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Trust me, Luigi. You do not want to smoke, bro. <laughs> the pigeon guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Chopper. <laughs> <laughs> All at once? Yeah, right, bro. Dude, y'all are fucking too confident. He's itching to, though. He's itching to. You know he wants his get back. He's just gonna lose again, though. Yep, she's fucked up, bro. Yeah, that's right. You guys saw her already. <laughs> Seeing this is going to piss Luffy off. He might not even be any help with this. Yeah, it is more of a Frankie specialty. Anybody that's involved with science or, you know, engineering and shit. Chopper can't really help Atlas. Medicine ain't gonna do shit. 
<laughs> I don't know what you came here for, but I'm gonna whoop your ass again, bitch. If that was you, if that's what you want. Damn right, she took care of us, bro. Oh, bro, that was the quickest episode known to man. God damn. Oh my goodness, that shit was so quick. Damn, dude. Nah, yeah. Next episode is heating up to be something great, dude. 1100? Oh, fuck. Alrighty, guys. What another amazing episode of One Piece. That was such a fun watch. As usual, 1,099, one off of 1,100 next week is going to be a fucking treat. I'm so excited. At least we're still getting episodes of One Piece because uh, the manga for uh, One Piece went on a three-week break. So I think this is the second week. So we still are on break next week for 1,100. And then I'm assuming on the week of 1101, there should be a new chapter, hopefully. Because the manga's been going crazy. Like I'm saying, bro, we, we are getting into some shit this arc, bro. I'm so excited. Every week, we're getting closer and closer. or just, like, inching forward to just fucking absolute greatness. And, ah, uh, dude, it's so exciting. I believe the break that Oda took for the manga is just for, um... Just for him to just take a break. Just to, like, you know, chill and, you know, take care of his health a little bit. I think it's also in honor of Akira... Toriyama, you know, obviously since he passed away and he, you know, he's, uh, I guess coming, becoming a little bit more conscious of his health because Oda works his ass off, bro. I mean, from what I've heard, he only gets like four to five hours of sleep per night and he's constantly working on one piece. I mean, this dude it puts everything into his craft and you can tell because I mean, this story is fucking amazing. Remember, this is all coming out of one person's fucking brain, dude. So he can take as much breaks as he wants he can do whatever he wants that he needs to to continue to, you know, preserve his health and keep this going because protect him at all costs, bro. This story is far from over. You know, maybe it's getting closer, you know, now that we're entering, you know, Luffy being an emperor and this and that and the announcement that, you know, the 25 years of preparation is done, this and that, blah, blah, blah. But, bro, we still got a good chunk, you know what I'm saying? Like, until this show or this story actually ends, so... He can take as many breaks and take care of his health as much as he needs to. That is definitely first fucking priority. So, you know, kind of kind of a bummer for, for some people or just everybody like, oh, damn, we got to wait three weeks for a new chapter. But, hey, do what you need to, bro. You have proved that you fucking deserve it, my guy. And for that matter, any author, any creative person, any, you know, mangaka, uh, they deserve breaks, bro. They deserve what they could do for their health or, you know, just be able to do what they want, even though they have, you know, this amazing creative outlet that entertains so many people. Who are we to judge? There's so many people that actually take breaks like that or the work at, or like, you know, they start attacking the manga because of the author's work ethic or this and that, blah, blah, blah. Like they take it so personal. It's like, bro, you are privileged to be able to enjoy this, sto this story and most of us are, you know, obviously enjoying it for free. Like, a lot of people use pirate websites or fucking, you know, whatever. Like, they're not actually buying the shit that comes out of, you know, Weekly Jump Fest in, in Japan or, or whatever. Or going to your local Barnes & Noble and buying manga, this and that, blah, blah, blah. You know, most people fucking pirate this shit. So, you have no room to really complain. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but One Piece's community is pretty fucking tight and, like, know what the fuck is good. And they're all cool people. Uh, I think it's more of like the newer shows or some shows you know, or, or newer stories, I should say. Like, for example, I see a lot of people complaining on My Hero a lot sometimes. They let them do what they want, bro. We, we are just privileged to be able to witness these stories that they create. And, and they put in so much work into this. So you have no room to complain. I mean, I can't wait until the manga's back. But like I said, this next episode, 1100, it's a huge milestone. That's what we're getting in the meantime. And the anime's still going while we have a break from the manga. This shit is heating up, dude. It's fucking amazing. Rob Lucci is here. We know this motherfucker. The Straw Hats know this motherfucker. We fucking fought him a long time ago, along with Kaku. And they're a part of CP0. They've ranked up or whatever. You know, they're here. And they're on here. They're here on the orders of the government. And uh, apparently they're trying to get, you know, obviously now that they know Straw Hat's here and he's an emperor, now they need permission from the top officials to be able to fight him. And Luffy might just fucking go ahead and start fighting uh, Rob Lucci right away to, to begin with because of what he's seen that Rob Lucci did to Atlas. And obviously, you know, takes that to heart because they've already treated them with like open arms and Vegapunk and the rest of the Vegapunks. Uh, including Atlas that like showed him like the the food machine and, and fed them and shit like that. So he takes that personal. So he's already pissed off. 
So he might just fucking already go in on Rob Lucci, and that's where we're getting next episode. Or maybe we finally catch up. Maybe it's a combination of everything next episode. Maybe we see what's going on with the revolutionaries or get back to that story that Sabo was trying to tell if he ever gets, you know, back to the revolutionaries because their phone call was cut off, obviously, because of that crazy shit that happened at Luisha at the start of this arc. And then, um... Maybe get back and check up with fucking the fight with Blackbeard and Law. That's still fucking going on. We might get a big combination episode next week, and I, I couldn't be more excited. Uh, and then clearly they're trying to meet back up on Punk Records, at least the Straw Hats, get their crew all together again, as well as the Vegapunks. Apparently, you know, actual Vegapunk went up there. Like, he just vanished. Like, he just teleported up there or some shit, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Can't remember how that fucking works. Obviously, Luffy and them were shocked. And then he just told them, like, yeah, take the vacuum rocket. Like, we know what that is. So they're looking for it. And then they run into fucking Rob Lucci and Kaku, CP0. And they're like, what the fuck are you doing here? So, you know Rob Lucci's itching for his get back. Like, he was saying, like, I know we gotta ask for permission, but, ugh, like, you know, he's itching get his get back and i'm sorry bud but we're emperor we're an emperor's crew now so you better be careful i already whooped your ass once and that was a break ago you may have ranked up and you know maybe gotten stronger yourself we'll see like what the fuck he has out you know what else he has to pull out of his deck of cards and how he's changed maybe but we're all going into this like looking at this whether you've read the manga or not like you're fucking looking at this like dude you really need another ass whooping you need another one <laughs> all right i mean if you if that's what you want i will gladly provide that you know what I'm saying? That's the type of energy Luffy's on. We know that for sure. So, amazing stuff. Can't wait for next week's episode. Uh, One Piece is always such a good fucking time every week. And like I said, we're just fucking... We keep on going down the line, just getting closer and closer to shit heating up and getting even crazier. I mean, I can't wait for next week's episode. Like, that's going to be a crazy one. Like, 1093, we haven't had, like, an insane animation episode in, in a couple weeks. So that's what I'm expecting for next week. And then also, like, as I said, each week, we're just getting closer and closer and more in-depth involved into what's really going on in the in the meats of this arc. And it's just so exciting. You know, if you're, a re if you're a manga reader, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Don't say shit in the comments. You know, don't spoil this shit. But we are in for a fucking ride, as I always say, and it's so much fun. So that's going to do it for me. Another amazing reaction of One Piece. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like down below. Comment, subscribe for new. Hit, the new, hit that notification bell so you know the next one's dropping. I'll see you on the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.